Dear boys, welcome to my online class. I hope you all are well at your respective houses during this corona pandemic. But you know, we are passing too much crisis time. In this time, it is essential to protect yourself. So, don't go outside, stay at home, and stay safe. I am Pradeep Kumar, Assistant Professor of Geology, Department of Biology, Boishal Khat College. My today's lesson is for class 9. Chapter 10 and the name of the chapter is coordination. This is my second lesson. Okay, boys, look at this picture. Do you know what is this? Yes, these are the different organs, and these organs secret some liquid substance. So I think you know what is my today's topic. Yes, my today's topic is glands. At the end of this class, you will be able to explain about glands, explain the main endocrine glands, explain the functions of hormones, explain irregular secretion of hormones that creates physical problems. Okay, at first, what is glands? A group of cells that secrete a substance for use in the body is called gland. Actually, a group of cells which secrete some liquid substance, that group of cells is called glands. These glands are two types. One is exocrine and another is endocrine. Now, what is exocrine gland? Those glands which require ducts for the process of their secretions are known as exocrine glands. I mean, this type of glands must present gland, duct. So, uh, this is called exocrine gland. Example, sweat gland, memory gland, salivary gland. These have specific gland specific duct so uh, this type of glands must present in duct by this duct the liquid substance distribute or spread in our body endocrine glands is the most important class this gland is known as ductless glands because they have no specific duct so those glands which put their secretions directly into blood are known as endocrine glands so the Juice substance of these glands are spread in our body by blood. Example, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, etc. And the secretion of this gland is known as hormone. And the secretion of exocrine gland is known as enzyme. So, there is some difference between exocrine and endocrine gland. Exocrine gland must have duct, but endocrine gland, they have no duct. Look, this is the picture of ex exocrine gland, secretory end piece and duct. So uh, the, the, uh, from this liquid source is secret and which is uh, distributed by this duct. So this is a specific duct of this gland. Uh, and this is the picture of endocrine gland. And this is blood vessel and this is the gland. This gland secret juice substance which is uh, passing or distribute by blood. So this blood distribute all of our body cells. So they have no specific gland just like this gland. So these glands have specific duct but they have no duct. So the juice substance is secreted by blood. Hormones. A hormone is a chemical transmitter. It is released in small amounts from glands and is transported in the bloodstream to target organs or other cells. Hormones are chemical messengers transforming information and instructions from one set of cells to another. So, hormone is our important liquid substance. It is called chemical messenger. Hormones regulate growth, development, mood, tissue functions, metabolism, and sexual functions. So, all functions are done by hormones. Hyposecretion or hypersecretion of any hormone can be harmful to the body. Hyposecretion means the amount of uh, secretion of hormone is less, and hyper means the uh, amount of uh, hormones is large. I mean, the I mean is above the, the 
which are needed of our body. Controlling the production of hormones can treat many hormonal disorders in the body. So, uh, both are uh, bad for our body. Hypersexual and hypersexual both are harmful of our body. So, all are needed to our body in optimum level. Look, these all are uh, uh, gland. SCPH, DH, DH means growth hormone. SCPH means adrenocorticotropic hormone. Uh, MH minus size stimulating hormone. Uh, so these are all our hormones which are secreted from one gland that's name is pituitary. So this is our, our pituitary gland and this gland is called mustard gland because the amount of secretion hormone is large from this gland and, uh, gland and its uh, gland also regulate of our uh, different uh, glands. So this is called Mustard plan of our body. Now, different types of endocrine glands. First, pituitary, then thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, pancreas, ovaries, testes. Now, pituitary, this is called mustard gland of our body. I have already told you mustard gland because the amount of secretion of hormones is large from, our, from this gland. Also, it regulates all our other glands uh, so uh, this is called pituitary glands produces many hormones that affect other glands uh, the, uh, the secretion of this hormone is called, uh, called uh, thyroid stimulating hormone i mean tsa is uh, growth hormone or, or somatotropin hormone then luteinizing hormone lag hormone msa is melanocyte stimulating hormone then ada is antidiuretic hormone all hormones are secreted from one gland that's name is called pituitary gland pituitary gland this is small this size is small just like a p so it is called p shaped secretions from this anterior pituitary gland look this is pituitary the position of this gland this pituitary gland it is found in our brain so growth hormone, this is our, it is an important hormone uh, by this effect we are uh, long, we are short, uh, so it is most important gland of our body, essential for the growth and development of bones, muscles and other organs. It also enhances protein synthesis, so protein um, by this gland, protein, uh, uh, protein synthesis occurred in our body. So. Uh, it is the most important gland. The situation of pituitary gland, I mean growth hormone is higher or hyper situation of growth hormone that is also man is very long, tall that is called, it is a one kind of disease that is known gigantism. So man is very tall. Uh, by the secretion of over secretion of uh, growth hormone that is called hyper secretion of GH hormone or growth hormone dwarfism I mean less secretion of growth hormone I mean hyper secretion of growth hormone that effect of man cannot uh, tall he is look this is dwarfism and he is a short man this is called dwarfism disease so under secretion of growth hormone cause the uh, tumor in uh, injury infection genetics all are uh, caused by uh, by these two diseases secretions from the anterior pituitary gland i mean uh, anterior i mean the uh, in front side of pituitary gland that is called anterior so uh, another hormone that is called acts anti atricocorticotropic hormone essential for the growth of the adrenal cortex adrenal cortex means this gland is present in our kidney so uh, so kidney uh, this gland is uh, also regulated by this hormone and AG, and this hormone is secreted from uh, pituitary gland so thyroid uh, stimulating hormone tsh this also this hormone is present in our throat look this is trachea and thyroid gland so uh, from this gland we get thyroid stimulating hormone TSA. So TSA is secreted by the effect of the uh, uh, pituitary gland. 
So TSA is essential for the growth and development of the thyroid gland. And so thyroid gland, this is thyroid gland. Section for anterior gland, follicle stimulating hormone. It is a gonadotropic hormone. Uh, so FSH, uh, FSH hormone is also secreted from pituitary gland, which uh, uh, which regulate uh, stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles in the female and the production of the sperm in the male. So this is sperm and this is follicle or ovary, which is present in our uh, female body and this is present in our male body. I mean testy. So both development is regulated by FSH hormone and, and FSH hormone secret from pituitary gland. Luteinizing hormone, another hormone secret from pituitary gland. It is a gonadotropic hormone stimulating the development of the corpus luteum in the female ovarian follicle. Corpus luteum is a uh, part of ovarian follicle, I mean uh, ovary, uh, which is present in female body and the production of this testosterone in the male. So, menstruation is another uh, hormone which is present in uh, testes in male. So, uh, this hormone is uh, secret the influence of LH hormone. So, LH luteinizing hormone is also control the production of testosterone hormone. Uh, our uh, beard is, beard is uh, increase or origin from the testosterone hormone, effect of testosterone hormone. Prolactin hormone is another hormone which secret from pituitary gland stimulates the development and growth of the mammary glands and milk production during pregnancy. During pregnancy, this hormone is uh, secret in female body. Uh, uh, Melanocytes stimulating hormone, our hair or body is black color. Uh, and this color is uh, controlled by this hormone. So, regular skin pigmentation and promotes the deposit of melanin in the skin after exposure to sunlight. So, melanin is a one kind of pigment which is secret from uh, melanocyte stimulating hormone. I mean, melanocyte stimulating hormone, the regular uh, secretion of the uh, melanin, uh, regulate the melanin secretion. And by the uh, melanin, by the melanin, our skin and hair is. Uh, black color who have black who have, uh, their, their, their body is more melanin and who is uh, white or uh, less black I mean their body has less melanin now the secretion from the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland so uh, 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 this is uh, ADH uh, hormone, anti-diuretic hormone, which is secreted from pituitary posterior part of uh, pituitary gland, stimulates the reabsorption of water by the renal tubules. Uh, renal tubules, which is present in kidney, so um, uh, re uh, renal tubules absorb uh, uh, absorb water by the stimulating by the uh, help of anti-diuretic hormone. Hyposecretion of this hormone can result in diabetes insipidus. So, uh, if the uh, antidiuretic hormone is less, then you can uh, affect by diabetes. Oxytocin, it is another hormone which is secreted from the posterior part of pituitary gland. Uh, what is the function? Look, stimulates the uterus. Uh, uterus the uh, it, uh, it, uh, this type of hormone helps the contraction of uterus during delivery. It also stimulates the mammary glands to release milk. So, uh, in pregnancy or delivery case, uh, this hormone contract the uh, contract uterus for this reason, uh, the baby easily come out from mother's body. Look, this is kidney and this is adrenal gland and this is posterior uh, pituitary gland. This gland uh, secret ADH anti hormone which is which goes to uh, a kidney I mean adrenal gland then adrenal gland uh, uh, kidney then uh, there is an uh, 
nephron and the renal nephron or uh, the renal tubules is a part of nephron so uh, then renal tubules absorb the water reabsorb the water easily thyroid gland look this is the position of thyroid gland it is present in our neck so the thyroid gland plays a vital role in metabolism and control of calcium in blood so uh, calcium uh, me uh, metabolism done by thyroid gland and thyroxine hormone t4 and thyroidine these two hormone t4 and t3 hormones are secreted from this gland so these two important hormones secret from this gland thyroid gland must have any source of iodine uh, hyposecretion of t3 and t4 uh, means ketonism. I mean, ketonism disease is occurred uh, high, uh, the less secretion of T3 and T4 hormones. Ketonism means um, your body is jerking, uh, your nervous system is uh, your hand is jerking always. Hyper secretion of T3 and T4 is, is called uh, goiter disease. I mean, your uh, throat will swell up, and this is called goiter disease, and this is done by hypersecretion of T3 and T4 hormone. Parathyroid gland it is also present in our throat. It is present behind the uh, thyroid gland. The two pairs of parathyroid glands are located on the dorsal or backside of the thyroid gland. So its number is two pairs, I mean four. But the thyroid gland, the number of thyroid gland is two and the parathyroid is, this is parathyroid. And, and this is thyroid gland and this is parathyroid. So thyroid gland number is 2 but parathyroid is 4. They secret parathyroxine. So parathyroid, uh, parathyroid secret, they secret parathyroid hormone which plays a role in the metabolism of phosphorus. Parathyroid is a parathyroxine. Uh, so parathyroid, uh, from parathyroid uh, we get parathyroxine hormone which helps the regulate the metabolism of phosphorus. The adrenal gland, which is present on the at, uh, upper side uh, of kidney. Look, this is adrenal gland, just like a fatty substance. So the triangular-shaped adrenal glands are located on the top of each kidney. This is triangular-shaped, present in top of the kidney. The inside is called the medulla. So its uh, inner side is called uh, medulla, and the outer side is called cortex. Adrenal gland secrets adrenaline hormone or its other name is epinephrine hormone. This hormone elevates systolic blood pressure, increases heart rate and speeds up the release of glucose from the liver. So uh, from the liver glucose is released by the uh, influence of adrenal gland or adrenaline uh, hormone. Thymus gland. The thymus gland is located in the neck. And look, this is the thymus gland. This gland helps in developing a resistance power against disease. So it is a it is helps in our uh, development of resistance power. In childhood, it is developed, but with the growing of age, the size decreases. So it is present in uh, childhood stage, but uh, in adult stage, it is absent or decreases its size. This gland secretes thymosine hormone. In adult age, this hormone is absent. So, uh, thymosine hormone is uh, present in childhood stage, but in adult, it is absent. Okay, boy, I left stop. Then again, actually, a group of cells which secret some hormones. That group of cells is called islets. And scientists Langerhans uh, discovered this islet, so it is called islets of Langerhans. So Langerhans is the name of scientist, and this islet consists of three types of cells: alpha, beta, and delta. Alpha cells secret one kind of hormone that's name is glucagon, which increases the glucose level in blood. And beta cells secret one kind of hormone that's name is insulin, 
and the lacking of this uh, hormone we affected by one kind of disease that's name is diabetes mellitus and this uh, hormone uh, decreases the glucose level of uh, through, uh, through glucose level in blood so uh, this hormone maintain the uh, sugar level in our blood then delta cells suppress the release of glucagon and insulin and these cells secret one, one kind of hormone that's name is somatostatin so uh, here insulin is the most important hormone in our body which secret from beta cells now the symptoms of diabetes excessive thirst excessive urination excessive urination means expel out of urine frequently hyperglycemia i mean the uh, glucose level in blood is high that is called hyperglycemia slow healing of skin infection i mean yeah, skin infection does not uh, repair easily weight loss is another symptoms and tiredness is also a symptoms of diabetes now causes destroys in insulin producing beta cells in the pancreas and when the beta cell is present in pancreas this beta cell is destroyed then insulin uh, in, and the secret of insulin is uh, decreased so uh, we easily affected by uh, diabetes overweight overweight is another uh, causes of um, diabetes family history i mean it is if your family member is affected with this disease then you can easily uh, affect this disease so it is a genetical disease then sedentary lifestyle i mean ideal person who does not work uh, he or she can easily affected by this disease high blood pressure is uh, another cause of this disease treatment this disease cannot be fully cured but by treatment it can be kept under control if you follow three days then you can easily control this disease uh, these are discipline diet and dose discipline regular intake of adequate quantity of a balanced diet regular exercise cleanliness and food care regular checking of urine, urinary glucose so uh, you, if you follow these uh, rules then you can easily control your disease i mean diabetes diet dietary restriction is one of the main measures to control diabetes a balanced diet should be eaten and sweet items should be avoided by following a doctor's suggested food menu one can get good results so yeah, so you can avoid all these sweet items then you can control your diabetes easily then those if you affected this disease then you can uh, follow oral drugs or injection so without doctor's advice no medicine should be taken on doctor's advice oral drugs or injectable insulin may be taken regularly ovaries and testes look this is the figure of uh, male reproductive system and this is the female reproductive system so it is testes who is secret from our important hormone that is called testosterone our uh, bed is uh, uh, increase or uh, origin from uh, the influence of the testosterone hormone and this is ovary who is secret from a uh, hormone that's name is estrogen and progesterone so this hormones prepare the uterus and pregnancy promote the development of family glands and develop and self and develop secondary sexual characters of females so uh, the estrogen and progesterone helps the development of the secondary sexual characters of female estrogen is essential for the growth development and maintenance of female sex organs the testes produce the male sex hormones called testosterone it is essential for normal growth and development of the male sex organs the testes produce the male sex hormone called testosterone this is testicle and uh, this testes is uh, remain in a uh, on sac that's called scrotum it is essential for normal growth and development of the male sex organs so it is the male sex organs so it is tested and it is in the penis this is the male sex organ okay boys if you have any questions then you can ask me or you can write in the inbox so if you feel any questions any query then write in your inbox okay your sample question first question which one is the secretion of thymus gland 
ए थायरोक्सिन बी था एडिनालिन थ्री थायरोसिन डी इंसुलिन नंबर टू व्हाट इज द मेन हार्मोन प्रोड्यूसिंग ग्लैंड इन ह्यूमन बॉडी पीनियल थायराइड पिट्यूटरी थाइमस नंबर थ्री गुनाट ग्लैंड्स आर सिचुएटेड इन द थ्रोट ऑफ मेल ओवर द फीमेल टेस्ट इज ऑफ मेल व्हिच वन इज करेक्ट वन एंड टू वन एंड थ्री टू एंड थ्री वन टू एंड थ्री नंबर फोर आयरिस ऑफ लंगरेंस हेल्प्स इन कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबॉलिज्म सीक्रेट्स इंसुलिन हार्मोन controls metabolism of the body which one is correct 1 and 2 1 and 3 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 number 5 if diabetic patient is not treated properly the respiratory rate of the patient decreases patient may become senseless sugar level of blood of the patient decreases which one is correct 1 and 2 1 and 3 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 okay boys we have to find out this answer of this question if you follow my lesson then you can easily uh, find out the answer of this question okay your homework first question what is hormone number b which is main hormone producing gland explain it number c explain the substance which is secreted from a and c mark part of the stem look at this picture a is a, 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 a thought i mean a, here is an a gland and c is a, another gland which is present in kidney so you have to uh, explain the hormone of this gland number d which problem will be created for the lacking of hormone that secret from b mark part analyze it look b mark part means pancreas so you have to analyze which hormone is secreted from here and if the secretion of hormone is does not uh, created from this gland then what happened so you have to analyze this problem okay boys now i want to say again don't go outside stay at home if you stay at home then you can kill coronavirus easily the coronavirus will not uh, never spread so don't go outside stay at home and stay safe okay boys thank you and see you in my next class